Hello, so in today's video, I will be showing you how to connect Kotak Neo to Stolo in order to take live trades, right? So let's get started. Once you've signed it to Stolo, you would uh, be on the home screen right here, right? Once you've done that, you can see that on the top right corner, uh, next to your profile picture, you can see an uh, icon which says connect to broker, right? You can simply click on that. Here you would see all the brokers that you have already integrated. So as we are adding a new broker today, you can simply click on add a new broker here. And here, uh, as we saw all the connected brokers, you would just have to scroll down to see all the available brokers that you have not connected yet. So in today's video, we will be seeing how to connect Kotak Neo. So here you can simply click on add. Once you've done that, you can see here you would requ require to add only three fields. That is your uh, Kotak Neo account ID, your mobile number, as well as your access token. So we will go through it one by one. So in order to get your Kotak Neo broker account ID, you can simply head to neo.kotaksecurities.com slash landing, right? And uh, you would uh, have to sign in and you would come on the home screen here, right? Once you've done that, you can simply click on your uh, profile name in the top right corner here. And here you can see something called account details. You will have to click on that. Once you've done that, here you have an option called view trading profile. You can simply click on this option and it would redirect you to a new page, right? Here you can see all the details uh, about you and here there would be a, a row called client code and you would just have to copy this code and paste it here, right? Once you have done that, Okay, let me just, yes. Once you have done that, uh, you would have to add your registered mobile number. So what you can do is again, simply uh, go back to this uh, tab here and, and you would see a row called mobile, right? And you can simply copy paste the mobile number from there and paste it directly here on Stolover, right? And uh, once you've done that, uh, we would now only require your access token. So uh, you can go back to uh, neo.kotaksecurities.com slash landing. Uh, once you're there, you can simply click on invest, right? This time we will click on invest. And here you would see an option called trade API. You can simply click on that and it would open this new page, right? So what you have to do is you have to actually uh, add in few details and you would have to register for uh, Neo Trade API, right? Uh, so you can simply enter the client ID here and register for free, right? Once you have done that, you would be getting uh, credentials in your registered email ID, right? So you would get a, a, a name and a password in your uh, registered email ID and uh, I will tell you what to do with that. Once you have completed registration, you can head to this website called napi.kotaksecurities.com slash dev portal slash APIs, right? And here you can simply click on sign in in the top right corner. And once you have done that, you can use the um, username and the password that is given to you in your email ID, right? Once you've registered, I, I told you that you would get the credentials. You can simply uh, use that and click on continue right once you've done that you would basically log into this portal here you can simply click on applications on top and you would see that there is one uh, default application already you can simply click on this default application once you've done that you can go here uh, down to subscriptions right once you've clicked on subscriptions here there would be um, a plus icon here uh, which says subscribe apis right you can simply click on that once you've done that, you can see that um, uh, for me, uh, most of it is subscribed, only one isn't uh, subscribed yet. So for you, if there is any other that says subscribe, which has a subscribe button here, please do click on it uh, just like this. And you can see a small uh, notification says that says subscription successful, right? So make sure all of it is subscribed. Once you've done that, you can close this and head to uh, uh, this thing called production keys, right? You can head to this tab and here, what you would have to do is first, you would have to go into grant types, right? You can see this row, row called grant types. You can simply check, uh, you, you will have to check everything, right? And once you have done that, you will see that there is a callback URL here. So what you can do is for this callback URL, you can simply 
head to uh, Stolo and you can see something called a redirect URL uh, here, right? You can just copy this and paste it directly here, right? Uh, so mine was already pasted as you saw, but yeah, you would have to just do this. And after that, you can see uh, four rows, which has, uh, uh, which basically is application access token expiry, user access token expiry time, refresh token expiry time, and ID token expiry time, right? So what you have to do is you would have to add 10 zeros next to it, right? I will show you. So for example, here for the first one, I will add 10 zeros. Say, similarly, you would have to add for all four, right? For the third one. And for the last one as well, you would have to add 10 zeros. Once that is done, once you have added it, you would have to click on update here, right? So make sure you click on update and you, you would get this small notification that says up, application keys updated successfully, right? Once you have done that, just click on generate access token over here. And you would get this uh, small pop up here and you can click on generate. Once you have done that, you would get your uh, access token, right? So you can simply copy this and come back here to Stolo and paste it in this access token field, right? And you can simply click on add Kotak Neo broker. Once you've done that, you can see that Kotak Neo has been integrated, right? Now you can simply come back to the home screen and we will see how to connect and start taking trades, right? So you can come back to the home screen. Once you're in the home screen, you can simply go, go and click again on the connect to broker, right? And now you would see uh, Kotak Neo option over here. You can simply click on that and click on connect now. As you've done that, you would have to uh, simply enter uh, your Kotak uh, Neo account password and click on send OTP, right? And you would directly get an OTP sent to your phone and you would, uh, so phone as in whatever registered phone number you have provided to uh, Kotak. So you can simply enter that here and you can click on connect. As soon as you have done that, uh, you can see that the page was re reloaded and you can see Kotak Neo uh, logo here, which uh, shows that uh, Kotak Neo has been connected and now you would be able to take live trades directly through Stolo. Thank you.